everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Lost Dimension. Moving on to the final main mission, Lost Dimension. For the sake of the world, Sealed has erased dear allies. This last battle will decide everything. Dun dun dun! So let's have a look. Unknown, so we don't know how many enemies there are. Details. Zero energy, zero XP. And it says defeat the end, so this is the final battle, guys. And again, enemies unknown, so let's do this. Now I know for a fact that I chose all of the traitors correctly because they all owned up to it. And uh, I discovered some of them using the VP points as well. So you finally arrived. Are you enjoying the upper stratum? The end. This is where it all ends. You've made some poor choices, I'm afraid. What? And you'll now pay for those mistakes with your life. So there's a traitor still. What? How did that happen? I warned you, did I not? Back in the beginning, I warned you. There are traitors. <gasps> Mana! How could you, Mana? She was the one that warmed up to us the quickest so with her uh, character quest and that. It's always the ones with a fake accent, and it's always the British that are the villains. <laughs> well, she's not really British because her accent's fake, but still, she's the traitor. A lot of you suspected her in the comments section, and here we go. Sorry, but would you mind dying for I me? call hacks though, seriously, you can check back on my videos. On every single judgement video, they owned up to being the traitor, and we got the traitor right. The only thing I can think of is on the fourth floor, um, we did the final judgement, and the end made us vote off two people. Now, um, the person we voted off first was definitely correct because they owned up to being the traitor. I think was that Toya at the time? I can't remember who it was, but they did own up to it. Maybe that means there was two traitors for that floor and Mana slipped through. Which is a bit unfair really because you can't really set it up for two people of your choosing to be voted off. Well, it's hard to do that really, I think. Um, I don't know how you would go about doing that. But anyway, I had no suspicions that w there would be two traitors for that floor. What's the meaning of this? Why? Why? There's only one reason, and you should know it very well. Everyone here is fighting for one purpose. To save the world. And it is for that singular purpose that they have killed and fought. And it's also why they betray you now. I was betrayed to save the world. Notice how it's forced Mana to wear her original costume rather than the DLC costume that I had equipped to her. Oh well. This is going to be easy though, there's still only one enemy. Not unless we have to fight the end after we've defeated Mana. Vision unfolds. There. Oh, wow. Nice. I did a lot of damage. It's all over, mana. That's what you get for betraying me. A face full of dirt. So we do actually get to fight the end then. Wow, this looks epic. Epic.
What a lovely room of chaos. The final showdown, guys. At last, we've come to this moment. Is that the real you, the end? Are you blind? Do you not trust your own eyes? I just don't trust you. This hostility, the hatred I feel, everything prior pales in comparison. We finally meet face to face. First, I wish to know how you enjoyed the trip up here. And I'd like killing to know people. how it feels to select your comrades, watch them dwindle in number, and continue on all the same. No clever words, huh? No matter. <laughs> your, your eyes tell me everything. They are filled with rage, practically twitching with hatred. Oh, it's just what I was hoping to see. You your sick, sick bugger. A cheap plaything compared to what the rest of them do it. Their fates chosen for them by others. Your misfortune, measured against theirs, is meaningless. For you are still standing. You are still alive. I don't deny that. I am alive. Though I bear a heavy sin, I'm still breathing. When I think of those who died, perhaps I am fortunate to be alive. That's correct. You've been far too blessed. So much easier when you're the one choosing, huh? You are the key one behind making the choices because, in your own right, you're the chosen one. What are you getting at? It's part of who you are, your very existence. From the beginning, you were chosen. Chosen? Me? That's exactly why I can never forgive you. I will always hate you because you were the chosen one from the start, destined to live. And not me. Ooh. That's why I planned this entire encounter around making you suffer. What? This is all your fault, Sho. I don't care about destroying the world. The fate of mankind isn't why I'm here. I only wanted one single thing. To watch you suffer. You chose I'm who sure there was an easier dies, way to go about it. You changed people's fates. I wanted to make you feel the weight of those choices. And that's exactly why I arranged all this. You what a twisted to make booger! Me suffer. You're telling me you started this whole ordeal just for that? Just for that? How can you ask that? I will never you need to let it go, you. dude. Have a chill pill. You handed everything. You were guaranteed life itself. How could you possibly understand the despair of being sentenced to death? But don't worry. I'll make you understand. Bring it, it on. Takes. So this is what it took. You sacrificed the lives of so many people just to exact your personal revenge? Is that what this is? In that case, I will never forgive you. However much you hate me, I have my reasons for having to defeat you. I don't care about your reasons. To hell with them. All I care is that you suffer thoroughly. If I have to destroy the world to do that, so be it. He's insane. Yeah, I agree. You never lose to someone like him. You involved the whole world in your own personal vendetta. Something like this will not be forgiven. Revenge? That's the reason you did everything? He's too dangerous to leave alone. Nothing good can ever come out of being consumed by revenge. That said, I have no sympathy for you. You've caused the death of too many. This is our final battle. Let's do this, everyone. I wonder what Agito would have said if he was here, because originally he was Commencing going on assault. about saying, oh, it'd still be fun to be friends with the end. I, I need to. Assault. I, I How need come to. I can't switch to the other characters? That's weird. <laughs> Ah. 
He's only level 35. I'm way higher level than him. Ooh. Oh, blood comes off his weapon? That's cool. Oh, so he gets a turn. turn dust. After a couple of people. Oh Disappear. my god, what's going on? Oh, oh, it missed. Let's do this. Let's go. Commencing assault. Let's go. I need to. <laughs> Let's do this. Right, let's use punishment. So, the vision unfolds. Take this! I doubt you have any recollection, but you and I were actually raised in the same facility. Yeah, we discovered that from the DLC. The researchers there proposed a plan to implant the fate materia into human specimens. They determined that the stone's supernatural powers could only be harnessed through live implantation. And so the twelve of us were selected to be their test subjects. Oh my Myself god. Myself and all of the sealed members. Those gifts you have are byproducts of receiving the fate materia. And by sheer luck. One of those byproducts made one of us most suitable to sort out our numbers. And that person was you, Sho. But of course, you don't remember us all being raised together. After all, once the world was replicated and the two were split apart, they wiped all of our memories. They created this tower for the Other Earth Project. Thanks to the core materia, they were able to take the inconsistency point between the two worlds and give it physical form. That's what the pillar is. The judgment that you're so familiar with by now was also instrumental in the creation of the new world. It was a method of sending a child with materia to the other world. Do you see now the gravity of your sins, show? In your innocence, you made the final decision. Who should live and who should die? Holy Don't shit! You grasp the cruelty of it all. Let's go. Yeah. Burn. Take this. Oh my god. Move out. Move out. Oh, that was. <gasps> now you're dead. Did we get him? <laughs> You must be so very pleased with yourselves. Yeah. You. The heroes who save the world. Savor that sweet taste of victory. You've won a future full of hope. But I warn you not to forget. In the wake of that hope, there are many lives in despair. As they draw their last breath. What do you mean by that? You are heroes. And you have saved many lives today. But so too have you doomed countless others. Doomed? What are you talking about? Enjoy this victory. And may your ugly lives be forever cursed by the souls of those you embraced. We won, haven't we? I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. With this, it ends. 
We don't even need to check the body. It's enough that the danger you that can burn it if you want, Himeno. Wouldn't you agree? What do you think he meant that we doomed people? I thought we just saved the world. Isn't this fine? We did save the world after all. Didn't we? The end's parting words concern me a little. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we won. Let's head home, everyone. The world we saved is waiting for us. We were victorious against the end. We prevented the nuclear warheads from being launched and saved the world from destruction. The world was at peace once more. Supposedly. Yeah. But for some <laughs> reason, the end's last words still weighed heavily on my mind. You are heroes, and you have saved many lives today. But so too have you doomed countless others. I didn't understand the truth behind those words, and I had no way to find out. I fear we may never know. If, in the wake of our victory, Countless lives really were lost. <sighs> what was that sensation? We didn't know, and we never would know, about those who were sacrificed at the cost of this victory, nor the weight of the sin we had to carry because of it. So there we have it guys, I've just completed my first playthrough of Lost Dimension. I'm not sure about that ending really. I wonder if, um, you know, in an alternate dimension another world was destroyed or something like that. Because it seems like something devastating happened with that image of the earth popping up on screen with like a huge explosion or whatever. So yeah, uh, what did I think of this game? It was pretty good actually. Um, so I'm going to talk a bit about the game now. I liked the storyline, although I have heard that you will need to play through the game a second or possibly a third time to learn everything about the story and have everything revealed so if that ending was too vague for you i suggest playing through the game again and also if you want all the trophies you will need to play through the game again because obviously some people will have been eliminated and you won't have been able to um do their character quests and get the trophy for you know getting their friendship up to max basically so you'll have to play through it again anyway if you want all the trophies and if you want a platinum but otherwise the game is pretty easy to platinum looking at the trophy list Difficulty wise, it wasn't very difficult, um, you know, a bit of, if you end up wanting to get the most powerful weapons on each floor, honestly, if you grind to get the energy points, by the time you've, you've done that, you will be high enough level to just easily do any mission on that floor, so it's, it's pretty easy really. I liked the characters, um, I quite liked the voice acting and stuff. I'm gutted that certain characters died. I would have liked to have kept um, Toya and Agito in my team actually. I'm not too bothered about Yoko and Nagi. I would have preferred them eliminated to be honest. But I suppose that's part of the fun of the game. The whole traitor system does feel a bit gimmicky though, like it's not doesn't seem really developed, don't expect it to be as in-depth as Danganronpa. You know, it never really explains why they're the traitors, which makes sense, I guess, if the traitors are randomised anyway for each playthrough. But still, it's kind of like... I don't know, it, it does make you pay attention to how they're acting in, in battle and stuff, but overall, that side of things didn't really feel essential to the game, but whatever. It was in there, and it was alright, I guess. I still got interested in trying to figure out who the traitor was and stuff, which was a little bit difficult to begin with, but I figured it out towards the end, and we did okay. As I said on this episode, I'm not sure how Mana ended up being the traitor. 
we got the traitor correct for every single floor so the only thing I can think of is for that final floor where we had to vote off two traitors, uh, well two people, was that there was two possible traitors because the original person we voted off, which I think was Toya, was correct, he owned up to it so like I said the only thing I can think of is that there was a second traitor for that floor and it ended up being Mana so wasn't a big deal, she was easy to destroy at the end. Music's been really good in the game, the missions have been pretty fun, although some of the missions were annoying with those alarms that were able to summon multiple uh, enemies, and also the moves were pretty cool as well. Let's see if any anything else happens now before I continue with what I'm saying. Yes, I do. Let's just do a new save because I don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, basically guys, you can start a new playthrough with that clear data. I'm not too sure if you get to keep your weapons and items though. Um, so I'll leave a, put a comment on this video if I end up starting a new game. Or if you guys know the answer to that, then leave comments down below. But on a another playthrough, the first traitor will not be George. It's only for your very first playthrough. Um, so yeah, it's, it's randomised after that. And like I said, if you want those trophies, you will have to play through it again. And more of the story will be revealed. There's also other trophies you can get as well on your previous save. Um, you need to get S rank in every single mission. That won't include DLC by the way guys, that'll just include the floor missions. So I've got S rank on quite a few missions so I could choose to do those if I wish and try and get S rank. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot of moves in the game. If we go over here, I wasn't able to get all of the moves because obviously you need to have certain materia equipped so it is worth multiple playthroughs if you want to see all of the moves and uh, if you didn't do loads of grinding also you may have struggled to unlock all of the other moves that don't require materia as well. I don't know if I got all of them with some, no I didn't, there we go, ice and stuff I didn't really get with Himeno so I could grind if I wanted to and get those. Um, or not basically so it's up to you whether you enjoyed the storyline enough to do multiple playthroughs or if you're a trophy hunter and want to get those platinums but the game in my opinion is definitely worth picking up but I wouldn't say it's the best game of its genre um, I'd probably say it's a solid 7 or 7.5 out of 10 there were some issues with the game I did have some crashes and some freezing issues I actually had a crash on the last fight against the end you guys won't have noticed but i had to restart that section which was annoying and um sometimes there's some bad camera angles like when you're doing your gifts um it'll like change the camera and sometimes you'll just see a wall or if an enemy is attacking you you'll just see a wall um because the camera angle is pretty bad at some points and also i've noticed when you first start a mission when you start moving there's some fps issues other than that i didn't really notice any fps issues after that very first point of starting the game i don't know if it's different on the playstation vita version but on the playstation 3 version it was just at the start of a mission where you were moving for the first time rotating the camera there was some fps issues and i didn't really notice any issues while casting gifts either. I know some people playing the PlayStation Vita version have said otherwise so obviously there is a difference between the two versions but graphically it's a pretty nice game. Um, the environments are pretty bland I guess because for each floor they've got their own theme but to be honest that didn't really bother me too much. I did enjoy it. I do think it's worth getting and um, especially for the PlayStation Vita and um, 
yeah, I am interested to maybe play through it again on my own time and see more or learn more about the story. And I am tempted to go for the Platinum as well. If I just bring up my trophies and then you guys can see how many trophies I actually managed to to get. I always forget where the trophies are on the PS3. There they are. <laughs> So I'm just syncing up my trophies now. I got a fair amount, actually. It's just some of the friendship ones that I didn't get, obviously, because they were voted off from being the traitor. Come on, hurry up and load. You would be slow when I'm trying to do commentary on my video. Who was my favourite character? Hmm... I actually really liked Mana. It's a shame she turned out to be the traitor at the end there. <laughs> but I really liked Agito as well. So if I do another playthrough, hopefully he survives till the end. Because it would be interesting to see what he has to say about the end on that last mission. Because, uh, you know, he was going on about, oh, I want to be friends with everyone, including the end. And I was like, yeah, you're a little bit weird. <laughs> Why do you want to be friends with someone who's killed loads of people and trying to nuke the world and destroy the world but yeah the end definitely needs a chill pill he needs to let things go man talk about holding a blimmin grudge come on trophy list by the way you won't be able to add me I've stopped friend requests I've got 47% as you saw there so let's just scroll down and have a look at some of the trophies some of them are hidden so I'm not going to be able to tell you what they are but if you type in on Google lost dimension trophies you'll be able to figure that out so there we go strengthen your bond with Sojiro um, so he ended up being a traitor so I need to do that one Agito and George again they were traitors so I need to do them hidden trophies unmask the full might of the end and defeat him I don't know why that trophy didn't pop up because I defeated the end so I don't know if that's glitched or what or maybe the full might of the end hmm I don't know maybe that's a multiple playthrough trophy who knows that's hidden hidden defeat 20 enemies together with a comrade 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 complete all quests with an S rank rating which is what I've told you about so just make sure you keep your original save it's probably easier to do on that hidden trophies again so it's pretty easy really to platinum the game when you think about it so yeah a nice easy platinum there so that's it from me as i said i won't be recording another playthrough of the game i very much doubt it to be honest um simply because it's ended up being quite a long well not a long playthrough but because of the way i've scheduled my videos it's ended up going on quite long and to be honest i think people will have already done multiple playthroughs themselves so i'm gonna stop this series here and this was the last episode hopefully you guys have enjoyed this game i've really enjoyed it i've enjoyed reading the comments from you guys as well and interacting with you all let me know what you think about the game and your thoughts and impressions of it in the comments section down below and i'll be sure to get back to you and as always guys thank you for watching take it easy